Hello, and uh, welcome back to the farm. I'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like the video if you could, and uh, check the notifications so you're notified when uh, new videos post online. That would be absolutely awesome. Since we've got some dry weather for the first time in Lord knows how long, it's going to be way day. We're going to set up the catch pen, scales, all of that, and uh, we're going to run lambs probably tomorrow. We'll get things set up today, work at it tomorrow to get all the lambs weighed, information taken down. We have some grow outs that we're going to get banded. too hot for the lambs to worry about what I'm doing. <laughs> Those crossbars are all that I have to move it around with, make it portable and supports it. I don't want to crack the welds on them because I don't have a welder, and that would be a bad thing. So we just have to move it around a whole lot to get it where we want it. And now, try to back up out of here. Close up the weed. Power it on. Well, sometimes on the farm, you know, it seems all fun watching the animals and taking care of them. And most of the time it is. It's work. It's hard work, but it's satisfying. And then there are days like today. Can you tell I'm dreading this? I'll make this explanation as best I can, as quickly as I can. We had a young you, not very old at all, that began having an issue with prolapse, which at that age is just kind of very unusual. We replaced the prolapse twice. It was the second time that I noticed that when we replaced the prolapse that she had no muscle tone whatsoever in her rear end. And uh, it seemed to be nerve damage. She didn't react to replacing the uh, prolapse, which is highly unusual. And it just continued to get worse. 
planning on keeping her. She was very friendly, very easy to handle, very sweet little girl. But sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. No matter how hard it is. And I, I know there are those of you that do this. That understand. And maybe you don't get as emotional about it as I do. But I can't help it. We spend so much of our time. Trying to make sure these animals are healthy, they're happy, and they have everything they need. And every time something like this happens, I feel like I've failed. Even though I know I didn't do it, I didn't cause it, I tried, I can't help it. So, there you go. So, unfortunately, though, time to mourn is little. We have things to do. So, I'll pull myself together, and we'll get it done. Check to see if the rain might be coming back in because last I saw wasn't really supposed to be till tomorrow. But the way the clouds are building up, I might get a surprise. 